by going to your anatomy and physiology course and then find the tile that says 3D bodies. Click there. And I'll just show you how to navigate this tool so you can see what kind of imagery that you can work with. So using this bar on the left hand side you can scroll down. You can then zoom in and rotate. You can also use this orbit feature to turn on the 360 axis. Okay, so obviously you can do that here. There's the heart. You can also select certain components here, so I'll select the eye. Rotate this around. Zoom in. Okay, so let's say we're studying the skull. I'll pick the skull. You can click on the hierarchy, take out the circulatory system. You could actually expand any of these menus, but I'm going to click on the tools, and if I click on explode and then drag this, you can see all the different teeth, obviously, and the bone separation. Click on pick again, and then you can rotate it to the side. So these are the kinds of images that you can pull um, when you're using Learner. So let's take another example. Um, I'm going to go to the adult female and let's see, I'll bring her down here. And if I click on hierarchy, you can actually take out the skin, muscle, connective tissue, skeletal system, organs, lymphatic. So you can go down to whatever level you want. You can even expand that and just show different systems. And then you can zoom in or out as needed. Um, I'm on orbit right now, but um, these are the kinds of images that you can also take, um, you know, using a screen capture service. You can take these images of the body and of the different parts. So again, if I go to components, sorry, I'm moving it. You can see that there's a lateral cut already done for you. Zoom in and out. You can even select these pieces and it'll give you the definitions and we're working on creating the 3D activities to go with these images. So, all right, hope this helps. Thanks so much for considering Learner. Have a good night.